Hey everybody, this is TJ from Rock Opera RC, and I just want to do a little build breakdown and talk about the brushless ESC and motor combination that I have in these two. It's a little more affordable than the normal brush to set up from Injora or any of the other companies, <clears throat> but it's a little harder to set up because you got to fiddle with it. See, you can barely see it tucked up right in there, the ESC. But I like the motor size because it fits very well on the stock motor plate and doesn't take up that much additional room. On this one, I kind of did like a spare parts build because I had a bunch of parts laying around and I just wanted to get something together for the Indora body that I painted up. And As you can see here, it does fit in the stock motor location very well. I don't think you'd have to trim too much. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of power. It's only 4,000 kV, and the other one I have is 5,000. Um, doesn't put out a lot of torque, I'd say, so I'd only recommend it on like lighter weight builds. But you can see I have a decent amount of brass on this guy. I'll get a weight for you right now. Um, but pretty simple setup, you know, 3D printed some shock mounts, mounted the front shocks up here using the so if you guys have any experience like you know soldering little ESCs on drones or other tiny electrical parts it shouldn't be too hard to get together all the pieces and everything needed to get your $10 ESC running um, I use the battery balance connector instead of the motor the proper motor connector right here because that's all I had on but I mean it still works pretty well focus and then I'm just running the tiny four channel um, fly sky receiver. Let me plug it in so you guys can hear what it sounds like on startup. It's not bad. This one's got a 3S battery in it. I put some plastic over the where the headlight lens should go so it looks a little more like a normal light and painted the LED bulb yellow. <clears throat> so it's not as blinding and you know it's got a pretty good slow crawl I don't know if you can hear that but it... I think I either bent the motor shaft when I installed it or it came bent but <laughs> it you can hear it rotating around Let's see. I mean that's not bad. The motor's fifteen bucks, I think, before tariffs and whatnot. And the ESC was like ten or you fifteen bucks. Oh, you see it? Kind of hiccup right there. When it does that, I that's kind of just a sign that the motor's cogging. When that starts to happen, I usually give it a little more throttle, and usually it's kind of like driving a brushless motor. You gotta give it, or brush motor, I should say. You gotta give it a little throttle. <laughs> 